Welcome to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD and Attention Coach Jeff Copper, and today we're uh, we're here talking about the power of the pause. Um, people with ADHD st struggle with self-regulation. They, you know, it is impulsivity or distractibility, but at the end of the day, it, it really all comes back to. Um, self-regulation, the inability to engage your attention on something that's boring and the inability to disengage your attention on something that's really um, uh, exciting, interesting, or new. Uh, also, the same thing goes for uh, emotions. Um, so today, one of, the, one of the key things to do is when a person is, is, is emotionally kind of off the charts and they need to self-regulate by kind of calming down, it's very, very difficult because the thing is they got to notice first that they're in that emotional state to kind of catch them before they do something. So the question is, is how do they catch themselves? Because when they get into the emotional state, it's very difficult because they don't know about it um, or they're not uh, aware of it. One of the things that we do often is we try, as a coach, try to help them notice their body because often your body is either stressed or um, uh, you feel some tension and sometimes that's a little bit of a trigger. But other times, other people need more visual type clues. Um, recently, I was coaching an individual that was struggling with his adult kids and in order to catch himself to get him to pause so that he wouldn't send texts that were out of um, sight was we actually, this is a guy, is we actually needed to put some type of visual clue in place. So one of the things that we did was we changed the name of his kids <clears throat> on his cell phone to pause one, pause two, and pause three. Um, I forget what his kids' name are, but when he pulls up his cell phone and searches for their name, he actually has to say pause one or pause two as a means for him to think, before I send this, I need to pause. We also painted um, a pause sign. I'm gonna show you my fingernails right here. Let's see if I can put them there. As you can see, the pause sign on both, oops, both fingernails, so that when he's looking down and he's beginning to type, he can actually see the pause signs as a moment to, wait, wait a second, I need to stop and think about what I'm saying. I've also done this with some other people where they actually recorded pause really loudly into their phone and they made a ringtone out of it. So when somebody would call, typically somebody that would be very insightful uh, for their ringtone, they would hear those pause and they would kind of catch them so it's like stop before I get emotional I need to kind of pause I need to down regulate my emotions before I get on the phone maybe talk kind of monotone so they don't get kind of stuck into this um, this video is really interesting because pausing and stopping to think about what you're doing is so easy for me to say and so easy for you to say but it's so difficult for people with ADHD to execute because um, often the automatic brain is kind of moving 100 miles an hour and we need that executive functioning brain to stop and override it. How do you do that? Well, you need an outside force. Sometimes a person can notice it, sometimes from their body, sometimes other people can come there, but other times these visual triggers, whether it's naming um, somebody pause on your phone as a contact, um, painting little pause signs on your fingernails when you're typing so that you can do that stuff or have an auditory pause to get you to pause in those moments or even have a pause button somewhere is that visual external thing to try to get you to stop and think about what you're doing. In that moment that you pause and you actually kind of catch yourself, you're now open to making a behavioral change or choosing a path that will get you into difficulty. Uh, we hope that you've uh, enjoyed this video and uh, think about this tip. And if you've got other ideas or other things that will help you pause, please share in the comments section. Also, please subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button down there below. Uh, with that, we hope you've enjoyed this edition of Attention Talk Video. Take care.